Hey there, Ryu here, or as some like to call me Rayu, or even Ryu. Anyways, the point of this uh, video is I made a video tutorial on how to make a particular effect inside Sony Vegas. And this effect is this one right here that you can see. A 3D cube that you can build inside Sony Vegas. And it's not that complicated to make. It's actually fairly simple. It should only take around 10 minutes to make. Though I'm going to try to explain it simply so it may take a, a little longer. And the reason I'm making this tutorial, even though you can possibly find them anywhere else, is um, I was requested by several editors, most specifically um, Sexy Lois 1992. And I was remember when I made this video that uh, there was a point in time when I made an effect. And it would have been a whole lot simpler had someone had this tutorial up to help me out to make it. So I thought, well, why not? Let's go ahead and make a tutorial that, to help out anyone who's trying to build this effect or, or build something similar to it. So hopefully this will help out. So I guess we can get started. And what we want to do is uh, open our Sony Vegas like we have right here and change the property settings like this. And what we're going to do is type in 500 pixels for the width right here. And also for the height, we'll type in 500 pixels. And on the filter order, we're going to select non progressive scan. And on the pixel aspect ratio, we're going to select 1000 squares. And the reason we're doing this is just to make it easier for us to build the effect. Uh, once you get used to building this effect and get more experience with it, you can set the property settings to whatever specifications that you like. But this is only to make it uh, easier or simpler to make this effect. So let's press OK. So now we can start dragging in our video clips into the timeline. Um, just select six different video clips you want uh, into the timeline. I'm just putting in some random uh, anime openings that I have lying around on my computer. And honestly, you can pick whatever video clips you want. They just have to be six different clips. And I say different clips because um, obviously the cube has six sides, so it's going to be six clips. Uh, it's usually what I recommend, so each side will be different. And um, you just drag them into the timeline. Each clip has to be on a different track because each track will be a side to the cube. So we'll do that, drag them in, delete the audios, and so you'll have a total of six tracks uh, once you have them all in. And like I said, any clip will do. Uh, this is only a practice for if you're doing it for the first time. Once you got them in there, just cut them all to the same length. Um, I usually cut them all to the same length just so I know how, how long each uh, side of the cube is. And I won't have a side disappear just because it clipped right out. So once that's done, what we're going to do, we're going to edit another track. At the top, just right click uh, at the top right here. And just click, uh, you know, insert video track. And this will be our first track, so you have a total of seven tracks right now. It's going to act like the parent track for the rest of the tracks under it. So uh, what we're going to do to make all the other tracks child track is like click the second track like this, then scroll all the way down, hold shift button, and click the last one. And that highlights every single track. So then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. Right here where it says make compositing child, we're going to click that arrow. And it's going to make all the track into a child track mo uh, mode. We're going to click right here the compositing mode and turn them all into 3D source alpha. And what we just did is uh, we turned every single clip uh, on the video track into a child mode. In other words, a slave of the first track. <laughs> and that just means that the first track will be able to move every single video clip under it the way the first one moves. So it's very helpful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the first track into a 3D compositing mode also. Uh, right here, select 3D source alpha on both compositing modes, 3D source alpha. And so basically uh, for that portion it's done. Well, one thing we want to look at now is the aspect ratio. If you see the preview window here, each video clip has a little different shape, like widescreen, and the one behind it is full screen. That's the aspect ratio. And it's different for each video because each video is encoded differently. And this gets in our way to make a, a symmetrical cube. And so what we want is obviously for each video clip to have the same shape to be able to make a symmetrical cube. So to do this, we're going to change the aspect ratio. We're going to go into the pan and crop section and select 1.1 aspect ratio. And this will help us make each video clip the same shape, a square-like shape. And yes, it's going to cut off, if you can notice right here, it shows you the shape that's been made. It's going to cut off part of your video clip. But um, that's actually preferable than to, you know, having the complication of having each uh, video clip with a different aspect ratio. And you can just place it to wherever, you know, part of the clip you want it to be shown. So we're going to do the same thing to every other clip, you know, turn them on to 1.1 uh, square aspect ratio. And like I said, this will make it much, much more easier to build the, the cube. And um, I usually prefer to make it this way, although uh, I've seen other editors, you know, build their cues like rectangle shape, uh, depending on the aspect ratio of their of their video clips. 
and that's fine really I mean it's just personal preference uh, what you prefer for your cube but I usually like it to, to look like a cube you know symmetrical uh, but that's just my my point of view so next what we're gonna do is label our tracks we're gonna call track 2 the front track and we do this because it'll be easier to, to, to not lose a sight of what track is where on the cube uh, we'll call 3 the back uh, 4 we'll call it the left track and the fifth track we're gonna call it the right track and the sixth will obviously be the top and the seventh will we'll call it the bottom and like I said it's, it's uh, I like to work this way because it's slightly more organized and, and you also don't forget where, where each video clip belongs and, and according to the cube so with that done let's go to the top and we can start working uh, actually we're gonna click right here the contract motion and you get this nice little grid where you can see um, basically the shape of, of what you're about to be editing so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on the corner right here hold it and we're gonna push it in or drag it inwards like this so your video strings on, on the preview window and this is gonna make it make it easier for us to be able to build our, our cube in a minute so we're gonna skip uh, the front and back track we're gonna ignore those for the time being we're gonna skip to the right or the, the left track that we label we're gonna open it and there's a uh, three axes that we're gonna be working with and if you notice right here the X the Y and the Z axis and they're very important uh, things we're going to be working with. For example, the X axis helps us move left to right, the Y axis helps us move up and down, and the Z axis helps us move backwards and forward. So they're very important things we're going to be working with. Also, make sure this cube right here is unchecked. It's a very important thing to have it unchecked when we're building our cube. So um, with that in mind, um, we've just finished our first video, and uh, please click on part two. That way we can start building our effect.